hit me. He's gonna hit me. And he's out of there. Ooh, down to the wire there. Obscura Obscendancy and Hollowed Haunting and Meat Hook Massacre. The triple threat, take it out. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Something that I've been working on for a while. And uh, I was focusing on some other stuff, but I said, finally, I feel like I got it tuned in. And the good news is that for the next couple of days, we can just relax. Why? Well, guys, we made it to Mythic. If you didn't hear it yet, um, our mono black deck did push us all the way across. Uh, if you haven't seen that, the Brutality, Mythic Darkness, uh, did push us all the way across. So now it's just smooth sailing for a couple of days. Um, and say, why not just play Obscura Winds? I have been looking at the Obscura Ascendancy card for a while, trying to think about how this puzzling little card would work. It's not that great of a card, but can we kind of force it to be great? And the answer is, yeah, kind of. We can get wins in Mythic with it. We can flood the board so much with so many Esper Spirits um, that we can win games. So let's take a look at that. But of course, before we do, I need you to do something for me. Do you know what I need? I need you to tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Or else, well, guys, if you don't, the like and subscribe will come and brutally, brutally maul you. Oh, he's going to bounce you, man. He's gonna take you out back and give you the old one-two, the, the old, the old one-two Capenna salute. You know what I mean? Uh, so you gotta hit that like button. Come join us. Be a subscriber today. Fastest-growing YouTube channel in the world. That's true. Um, it's not a lie. I'm not lying to you right now. Leave a comment to it. Love to know what you think. Join us on a stream every night at twitchtv J for all the live streaming goodness. You too can uh, join the likes of everybody here and have a great time. Um, we're about to hit 1.5, 1.2K on Twitch, so that's really cool. Um, check out our Discord community for all latest news and information, other people's deck builds, deck help, advice, fun stuff there in our Discord. Uh, this deck and all the other ones that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. Um, so check out my Aether Hub in case you want all the other builds that I've done. And of course, hey, you want to support the channel? Become a channel member directly. Uh, you get a bunch of cool channel perks. Um, get all kind of fun stuff like that i'm gonna start posting uh, some other videos and stuff like that up there too and of course um hey grab a hat too why not uh either way i will give you a code for six free pre-release new capenna cards either one of them you do so what are we talking about here um what are we talking about obscure wins well we're gonna need spirits and we're gonna need a slow ascendancy like the card says of mana cost because that's how the card works okay so um, I'm going to go to this card first to kind of show you the whole outline of the deck here. Uh, whenever you cast a spell, if a mana value is equal to 1 plus the number of soul counters, so 0 being no soul counters, it would be a 1, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, um, uh, create a, put a soul counter on it, and then create a 2-2 two, two white spirit token with flying. Um, so really and then of course you spirit to control get plus three plus three five or more soul counters we have three of these so what we want is an ascending thing stonebinder is familiar fantastic early drop uh underrated card especially with the amount of exile that we're gonna run ultimately uh we're gonna run a decent amount of exile not too much but it's a great early drop as far as spirits the main um cards that we're gonna want is one drops because that's always gonna be what's gonna open the door two drops are gonna be a little bit more complex so stonebinder's familiar whenever a card gets put into exile one one counter on stonebinder's familiar only triggers once each turn even other people's cards even if somebody else does it anytime anything goes in exile we get that Usher of the Fallen is a nice 1-1-2 one, one, uh, aggressive white spirit warrior that can, of course, create oh, human warrior tokens, which is fantastic. Uh, it's a great one drop there. Circle of Confinement, a great two drop exile card. Now, we want this for our annoying little uh, early game cards, especially that pesky, pesky um, uh, Righteous Valkyrie that we need to get out because it's three or less. doesn't really matter about the vampire. That's not too much. But enchantment is going to be important, um, and the ability to exile and put a 
put a two drop spell out there is going to be super important clarion spirit obviously this is a solid card from um call time here um whenever you cast uh, your second spirit spell each turn eat create a one one white spirit token with flying so that's going to be pretty easy to cast a second spell especially with all these one and two drops uh, even three and four drops in the late game we can really start flooding the board board with flying spirits patrician geist now he is our captain card uh and he is a fantastic three drop um he is also really cool looking man with that spectral horse with gold chains on him and stuff like that patrician guys 2-2 flying other spirits to control get 1-1 and then spells you cast from your graveyard cost one less he is the disturb captain now i thought about going um the disturb route and i said let's get down with the sickness if we're gonna go you know the disturb route i thought about it and i just felt like it didn't make too much sense it was a little trickier and we didn't have a lot of black options with the disturb route we really only had azoria so i kind of left that alone could be coming in the future could be looking at kind of an up disturb thing in the future but don't worry about that right now so he's going to be our three along with the obscure ascendancy with uh, ascendancy which i already did now remember you can get multiple of these on the board and they can each have different soul counters uh so you know if one of them's fresh one of them has one one of them has two you could do something like put the one down to hit that one out then hit clarion spirit out uh and then get that out and you can really start stacking them uh really really interesting thing there and then of course uh if you hit the bingo you hit all five right there guys boom you only need to hit that last four drop um i think it's four drop yeah uh you hit that last four drop and boom you're in a plus three plus three situation there void rend this spell cannot be countered destroy target online permanent unbelievably good uh obscure spell lord have mercy black blue and white completely annihilate somebody the only way it could be better if it was exile uh any non-line permanent can't be countered do you know else that believe what what else that does to anything with ward you don't have to pay the ward cost guys because ward counterspells things so it's immune to ward and it's immune to counters unbelievably be uh, beautiful card here void rend hollowed haunting yeah you think i wasn't gonna run hollowed haunting in a spirit enchantment deck of course uh four of them can you get away with three Three. probably could get away with three because we don't have that many enchantments we're not super hyper focused on enchantments um so i think probably the only biggest adjustment i would maybe do with this is go down one of these and maybe something else but right now it, it does work i have had it work with this uh because we do have obscure which is an enchantment and we do have circle which is an enchantment uh as long as you have seven or more enchantments creatures you control have flying and vigilance whenever you cast an enchantment spell creatures with a white uh create a white spirit cleric equal to the number uh spirits you control obviously we're gonna have a lot of spirits gonna be very deadly the more we have we between obscure ascendancy and hollowed haunting you can get double spirits every time every round between clarion spirit obscure ascendancy and hollowed haunting if you play a two drop and it's your second spell boom uh circle of confinement two drop second spell boom you're hitting all three of them you're creating a ton of spirits all at once uh as far as a black enchantment i th i said i'll go with the long reach of night why because hollowed haunting is a four drop for our obscure ascendancy so if we go three four um long reach of night will help round out the four drop there each opponent sacrifices a creature unless they discard a card uh really really deadly in the late game into middle to late game um can really really punish people terribly uh because it starts hand ripping um and it starts people sacrificing and then it'll exile which of course will trigger stonebind familiar and return to the battlefield as a animus of night's reach which is a zero four menace animus of night and it's a spirit of course uh when it attacks it gets plus x until the end of turn where x is the number of creatures in that defending creatures graveyard very very useful um hey why not an ao of the dawn sky why not uh, I really like him in this deck. He's actually really useful. Maybe you want to swap out a Holland Hall thing for Ao if you have a Mythic to spare there. Uh, Ao is a dragon spirit. Don't forget the full cycle of dragons from Kamigawa are also spirits. Uh, legendary creature flying in vigilance. When Ao of the Dawn Sky dies, choose one. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put any number of non-land permanent cards with a total amount of four or less from among them onto the battlefield. Guess what, guys? Uh, we are perfectly set up to put any number of permanents every single permanent we have is four or less so there isn't going to be a permanent that we can find 
um, hollowed haunting, long reach of night, obscure obscenity. There isn't going to be anything that we can find that isn't going to be put down there. Or we put uh, two 1-1 one -one counters on each permanent you control. That's a creature or a vehicle. Uh, if we have a wide board of spirits, that can be unbelievably deadly. Maybe you want to throw another one of him in there. Yeah, because AO of the Dawn Sky is very, very dangerous. And here's our flexi card. Here's our cheat card. Okay, here's our ace in the hole. The Meat Hook Massacre. Why? Because getting those tricky cards from three and up, um, this this lets us basically cheat any number of cast spell for Obscure Ascendancy from two black to three to four to five. So anytime we have to get that Obscure or we're just not hitting it, we can dial in Meat Hook because it has an X uh, it has an X in its casting cost, so it can cost whatever we want it to cost, even if it's not super effective. Um, or we're overpaying if we just want to kill a few things, but we're overpaying, like we want to hit a four drop and we don't have a four drop in our hand, uh, it'll hit our obscure obscenity or even the five drop. And, you know, there's only little creatures on the board. Well, hit the five drop, hit the obscura, um, kill your own creatures. It doesn't matter if you're going to be making a ton more creatures, uh, because it's also an enchantment. So you're going to be hitting hollowed haunting. You're going to be hitting obscura. You're going to be making a ton more stuff. So man, don't worry about killing your own stuff. Drain their life, gain your life. Um, Meat Hook is your cheat card because of the flexi mana cost and just everything else that it can do. So kind of a fun combo deck here, guys. Kind of all over the place, but really fun, interesting. I don't think a lot of people are playing anything like this, so you may surprise them with the with the surprise left uppercut with this one. Two Cave of the Frost Dragons, um, uh, four planes, uh, three islands, uh, one Hive of the Eye Tyrant, one Swamp, two Deserted Beaches, Hengegate Pathways, Brightclimb Pathways, Shattered Sanctums, Clearwater Pathways, Shipwreck, uh, marshes and one Rafine's Tower. I'm not crazy about Rafine's Tower, honestly, because, I mean, there's not that much blue in it, um, and I feel like we can get there with clear waters and shipwrecks. Um, you'll see I've kind of not put too many pathways. I'm mostly putting on these double lands. The double lands are going to be important because we do have kind of a heavy amount of white and some of these double black and double white things. So it is a lot of white. So I'm kind of leaning heavy into the white here if you want to look at that. Uh, we have our lovely Obscura um, sleeves here, which were premium. Did you get the code for those? You didn't. Well, then you must not have watched my YouTube short for the codes. Go check that out. Uh, 2.5 average, solidly in mid-range. Probably double the amount of white of anything else with a little backer of blue and black there 17 creatures were all spirits 15 enchantments 25 lands which is far too many lands um i think i messed that up somehow um so let's <laughs> let's take out a land because we are flooding a little bit too much there so let's let's pop one land down and add one ao up uh and let's do that there i think i may have misclicked that anyways uh when i was setting up the deck so there it is right there guys one two Remember, we want a smooth draw, so that's why this has such a nice kind of curve, like a nice belly on it. One, two, three, four, and five. This is in a flexible spot, so this is kind of this is kind of your flexible card here. So one, two, um, oh, one, two, three, four, and then five. And we all it's all to hit the obscura, push everything, go wide on the board, and meat hook is your flex player right there. He's your uh, he's your cheat card to get anywhere you need to go. So. Uh, that all being said, nothing in the sideboard right there. We're just going to go into it. We are actually holding our own in Mythic pretty good. Um, obviously, we're very susceptible to board wipes, but the way that you generate creatures in this deck is not really just casting them. You have so many options of enchantments that are going to create creatures. It's not as susceptible as you might think. So, um, interesting deck. It's an interesting deck. Uh, let's get into it, guys. Let's see how she runs. This is really jank. Honestly, this, this Spirits deck is not... Um, it's fun, though. It's different. Oh, Zenyatta. And we disconnected. But you know me, I love to desync when I play these games. I love to desync. There we 
go. Keep. All right, so we added a lot of more Void Wrens um, because sometimes you have to Morb. Um, Right now, the current Morbius meme that's my favorite is all the artists making different characters from different video game franchises, anime, movies, other like things going to see the Morbius movie. I don't know why. It's just so weird and wholesome. Um, but it just... That, that makes me laugh so much. I don't know. Just seeing... Like, they had all the Elden Ring characters going to see the Morbius movie. Like, it just weird crap like that is just, to me, is hilarious. Um... <clears throat> Stupid Trishan Geist here. Hit, hit. Okay. They said it's in development. They did say Morbius 2 is in development. That's what I heard today anyways. They literally meme that movie into existence. Alright, it's going to sacrifice. It's morbing time. I mean, honestly, if they're going to make a second one, they should honestly just embrace it. They should just make it a total meme. They should just absolutely meme it to death. Um, that down ah uh, symbiosis yeah oh vornclex interesting interesting no blocks pop pop let's lock that guy out and of course, we'll just void rent him. We'll just make him go to the. We we'll just make him go to the boo boo hall there. All right. <laughs> and Zay Zayada, his Golgari falls to the spirits. I told him that. I told him to stand back. That I was gonna morb. Did anybody announce me on Discord, by the way? My heralds have been doing a, a, a mediocre job. Not not great, not terrible. I can say doing real bad. When they do miss occasionally. Nope, nobody announced me on Discord. Uh, I'll do it on the phone then. Everyone, I'm... I'm morbing right now on Twitch. I I should just make a freaking uh I should just make a vampire deck and of mono black vampires and call it Morb. <laughs> Rafine oh do I wanna do Rafines? No, let's do Patricians because I don't have a two drop. So let's do stone binders. Um you saw the villains unite? Yeah, that's my general uh that's my general go live. Okay, he's got something there. 
Let's drop over Fiends because there's not too much going on. Obscura, poof, there we go. Um, it keeps trying to change Morbing to more Morning. Okay, let's do this. Let's do Obscure Obsedency. He might try to counterspell that, but why? Why would you... Uh, it's not a good card. Um, but that's where they're wrong. It is a good card. Once you get it flowing, it's very good. Behold the multiverse. Heidi ho Villarinos. Siphon Insight. How's Mythic treating me? Eh. You run into some nice, fun jank. You also run into just the absolute sweatiest tryhard you've ever seen in your whole life, ever. In a million bajillion years. So, it's um, it's really kind of fun. Uh, mythic is, is all over the place. You'll just see somebody running because they're a Mythic. They're like, well, I don't care. I'm just going to run this crazy combo that only works one out of ten times. And, you know, then you have people just relaxing. And then, of course, you have people just absolutely... Just buckets, gallons of sweat just pouring off of them. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Honestly. Uh, the first... It's going to be starting over on the first hit. Oh, there's the hook. There's Long Reach of Night. So what I'm waiting for right now is I'm waiting for a one drop. I'm waiting for a one drop to hit the board. If I hit the one, I can hit the two, and then if I hit the two, I can hit the three. I hit the three step, I hit the four step, I hit the five step. Um, look at this pile, dude. Holy shit. He literally made me draw the extra card. Uh, ranked is every month. It goes from the first to the end of the month. So let's do the long reach of the night. Hey, what's up? Look, it's Gav, everybody. I need to know finally who wants to play the freaking D and D game. By the way, I need the finals on that. I need commitments, people. Commitments. TG. Oh yeah, I was wondering. I was wondering when you were going to hit Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. Did you love it? Yeah, I've heard it's very good. Like, I was surprised at all the reviews that were like, this movie is awesome. This is an awesome movie. That's a lot of fun. I, I know I shouldn't have been, maybe I shouldn't have been surprised at that, but I thought it was going to be kind of cheesy. Um, but I know Ghost, I know, uh, I know that freaking Top Gun t is one of your favorite movies. I remember you telling me distinctly that was the movie that turned you gay. Um, so, you know. Because <laughs> of the volleyball scene. Yeah. Really, I, I shouldn't say turned you gay. I suppose that's incorrect. It made you realize that you were, you know. 
Hey, what's up, Paddywhack? You came in at a weird time. Oh, no. I can't even say that. I can't say that on stream, man. Lord mercy. Oh, he got me there. Black. You're right, man. You're you're right, man. Did they? So they do take you into the danger zone, though. That's that's the main thing that I'm curious about. That was the main thing that I wanted to know is whether or not you got to go in the danger zone. What do you, What do you mean? Do some call of car, uh, 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 company here? Do you, I'm in the middle of streaming. This man, <laughs> this this Gavin, uh, this Gavin's gonna uh, come into the middle of stream and ask me uh, if I want to play <laughs> Company Heroes while I'm midstream <laughs> playing <laughs> playing a, a game of Mythic. And recording a video for tomorrow. That's, that's, hey man, that's gumption right there, man. But I wouldn't expect anything less. I'm, I'm curious as to what exactly is going on here with this day. This is just a do nothing lockout deck. So I think I might just quit. I guess, I, technically, you're right, man. Maybe I don't want to be doing this. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious if, in the middle of the the video I put out tomorrow, just like 25 minutes into it, it's just it's just like me playing Company of Heroes for 30 minutes and then just ends abruptly. It's Christina. <clears throat> you get my wife's name right. Why did he deadly dispute? Oh. Paradabo knows. I wasn't a pimp. I just arranged for girls to go on dates. Oh, it's an Arcane Bombardment deck. Okay, I get it now. Remember when the Millennium Falcon was going through the, the Death Star and everything was exploding behind him? Hey Nukes, Nukes, you missed it. I ran your uh, I ran your steampunk raccoons yesterday, and it did good at first, and then I it really ran out of steam. No pun intended. Um, yeah, he's just gonna kill me here, so we're gonna we're gonna leave here. He's doing Grixis nonsense. So, anyways, Tanuki, I made your mechanical. Is it? And I obviously I had to call it. Um, Hey, if I need some help, man, I ain't going to be too proud to beg. Um, uh, obviously, I had to call it Steampunk Raccoon because, you know, there it is. But we're running obscure right now. We're doing okay. I mean, in Mythic, for, for something this janky to work that well in Mythic, um, I think it's, it's all right. <laughs> Dolph Coast is going to go watch the Top Gun volleyball scene. Um, I kind of, I, I, I ran it pretty stock standard. I only changed a few things. I really got to tweak it more to my, 
to my personal liking. But I see where there's a lot of, um, you know, Oni Ogrenhelm is kind of out of my wheelhouse, man. I, to be perfectly honest, I don't really like Oni Ogrenhelm. That's probably my biggest complaint. Uh, that's probably my biggest complaint about the deck. I, I just feel like it's sacrificing what it's on for more cards. Just, I don't know, man turns everything into a missile and and i feel like we need more consistency uh, at least i felt like it needed to be steadily more consistent maybe i'm wrong i don't know maybe i'm running it wrong um but then again if i'm running it wrong then i i don't i'm interpreting it wrong so oh okay i thought you were sacrificing the helm with it well there you go Oh, guess looks well, look at look guys. It's is it ramped to nothing? Wonderful. Uh, let's put down Patrician Geist. So, what do you use the helm for? Why don't you just use um, Task Rabbit or whatever the hell that thing is? Swing, swing. 2-2 two, two artifact creature. I guess. I would just use Energizer Bunny. If that's going to be the case. Um, but I mean, that you know, that's me, man. Like I said, maybe I don't get it. Or is Energizer Bunny already in it? And I just didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, acid talent. I'm 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 gonna say things incorrectly. It's it's gonna happen, man. I'm gonna make up my own names for stuff. That's you gotta chalk that one up to the game. That's I'm I'm gonna have my own language, man. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna put out that oh. I'm gonna void I'm gonna void I'm gonna go I'm gonna morb on this Ren and Seven. I'm gonna absolutely morb on this Ren and Seven here. Stand back everybody, I'm gonna morb. That's, I thought that was the joke. Like, they literally made an Energizer bunny. <laughs> Prosperous Innkeeper. The Alchemy version is more consistent. I can see that. You know, I can see that. I can see that be, definitely being the case. Exile the Saga. So let's do this. My friend right now is free to play zombies. Um, yeah, I've been doing free to play zombies too, bro. I made a, I made one called Dirt Cheap, and I'm very happy with it. Um, <laughs> I'm very happy with Dirt Cheap. I think if I do this, 
Oh, I could have just done the flyer. Eh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Choose one. Let's get rid of round seven. Dirty, dirty mono gain, white life gain, cleric deck, and you feel shame. Quandrix Command, very nice. <sighs> oh, that's going to be that there. All right. That's pretty good, man. Still at 84%, you know. Um, but Simic, uh, Simic Go Nowhere is is still still up and running. Still doing its thing, you know. Coyote Mojo. Coyote Moto. Icebreaker. I'm a nice man. Rusty Labors. Wolf 6914. Zedek Azul. What works, works, man. Yeah, I mean, mostly Simic doesn't work. Um, because it degrades the soul as you play it, but uh, I unless you, I, the thing is, is this obscure wins is a good deck. It's a, it's an it's probably a high B or an A or a low A deck. It's not an S tier. If it goes up against an S tier, which is like an order of magnitude power stronger than it, it's probably going to get beat up. But it is fun though, and I did want to run obscure uh, ascendancy uh, in some way, and I've been meaning to do a esper um kind of an esper build here an esper uh spirits build i think that's really a death knight's orzov what did i say did i accidentally say death knight's orzov did i mean uh spirits esper i, re I already ran a death knight's orzov Parting is such sweet sorrow. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, it doesn't always work, but uh, I like it. It's kind of a late game if you can kind of survive a bit. Oh, we're going up another Esper. Probably Esper Control. A Rafine, yeah. Um, so we're going to have to put down a Deserted Beach and a Patrician Geist. Um attacks there uh it's only ward one so we can hit the void void rend hopefully hopefully he taps out to to not hit the um oh yeah 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 i made an explorer deck my death knights uh it's very good Pretty pretty decent wins on the Death Knights. Um, Servito. Servito and the Death Knights, yeah. My feeling... Um, oh! Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, so we're just going to morb him then. Yeah, he didn't even counterspell. He can... Oh, yeah. Wow. I forget. You know what? You are 100% right. You are 100% right. Let's freaking do it. Let's read the text. It can't be countered, man. It absolutely is not. It can't be countered, bro. You can't. <laughs> 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 oh, man. It can't be countered, bro. He's still got the other ones out of there. Yeah, he got the other ones out of there, but 
hardly matters at this point. Um, so let's put down Hollowed Haunting. Um, <clears throat> hit a lot of mana here early on. Um, Lieza, Archangel, no blocks. All right, so hopefully we're not going to hit more mana. As I live and breathe, we hit more mana. Okay, so all we're going to hit from now on is just mana, mana, mana forever. Um, so that's the plan here, guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mana and 15 cards. Really good stuff here. I'm really, really proud. I'm so proud of this community. Thank you so much, um, Auto Shuffler. Which one? My free to play? I, I haven't posted it yet, man. I, I'm just I've just been screwing around with one. Um it's called Dirt Cheap. I haven't I haven't actually posted it yet. It's it's in my whatchamacallit here, but it's not freely available. Yeah. It's it's out. It's I it exists. Um but uh it's not uh yeah, you can't actually see it. Yeah, I made it. I haven't run a I haven't run a uh, watch my I only do one deck a day. Nukes. Obscure charm, very nice. Thank you so much, game, for flooding the absolute fucking dog shit out of me after a really, really nice opener. Um the game just absolutely flooded me to death here. Um it's coming to nukes. It's coming because a few people have asked for some free to play. It's it's completely made. It's finished. It's a fully functional deck. Um, I just haven't, you know, like I said, I only do one a day. Um, but it's 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 coming up. I actually have done a previous one called um, on Aether Hub. I have done a a artisan. Um, I think it's even a popper zombie. I think it's called Cheap Death. As a matter of fact, I think I did a popper zombie deck, a full-on popper uh, zombo. Here it is, uh, dirt cheap, right there. Uh, I know that he's on the cover and he's rare, but doesn't matter. It's it's actually dirt cheap. Um. Okay, so fantastic. Thank you so much for giving me eight mana out of fourteen cards or whatever the hell I drew there. Uh, that was really good. All right, I think we're going to close it up here, boys. Let's try to close it. I'll close it up with a win, but... Uh, Sermania, how you doing? Country Friday, I hope you're still out there, man. <laughs> Big damn judge. <sighs> Hollowed Haunting, Void Run, Opponent Goes Right. No early plays. Um... I actually like that, and I think I want to drop the extra void rend. <laughs> Let's do that. We can play high with the eye tyrant. Talia, Guardian of Throbbing. <laughs> okay, very nice. Did he miss a land drop? He... Looks like he did. Um, okay. So we're going to need to do that. We need to go in here. Pop. Okay. Tenacious Underdog. Very nice. Who's he going to give it to? I give it to Talia because I'll run a two drop. I'll run a two banger on everybody. I don't, I don't even care. Um, let's put down blue. <laughs> let's do next. Let's swing in with Patrician Geist. Bang. And then let's hit this. Oh, okay, we can't. 
cancel. So let's void. Let's morb Talia. Um, there we go. Rafine, okay, scheming schemer. That's gonna connive, okay. The scheming schemer. Choose blockers. Uh, let's block that one. Spell Pierce, okay, I'll auto pay that, sure, yeah. It's a bit odd, but okay. Obscure Interceptor, interesting. Connive, okay. Who's gonna connive the most? Just got the Elytra. That is awesome, man. You killed the Ender Dragon. Did you kill it with beds? Uh, cleverest of sounds. Is that how you did it? Did you kill it with beds? You're not a programmer. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, okay. You're not a programmer. No, I, you said it correctly. You're not a programmer. I messed that up because I put this flippy backwards and I didn't get a white card. Good game. <clears throat> Alright, one more obscure. I'm going to try to win with one more obscure here. If not, we just call it a night. I actually might have been able to come back from that because I could have played a one and gotten two out of it. Just the old bow and arrow uh, trick. You know, I, I've never figured out what what is the egg when you steal the ender dragon egg? What is it? What do you do with it? You can hatch a dragon and ender dragon. Is is that what happens? I don't know. Why would I know? I have no idea what happens. Not not a clue. No, no idea what happens. Oh, it's Amplify. I don't even know what that is. It's a trophy and that's it? Oh, man. That seems like cut content, man. It seems like cut content. I feel like they're like, hey, you'll be able to get, get an Ender Dragon egg and raise baby Ender Dragon and then you can ride it, you know? Um, you know? And they're like, no, that's too complicated. Just make it an Elytra. I get some sort of cape that makes you float. We can't have people riding dragons. That's going to be too much fun. People are going to like that too much. This game is addictive enough as it is. 
Now excuse me while I go on Twitter and say a bunch of crazy things. I discard two cards. Wow. Wow. Two cards. That sucks. Okay. Um... So let's do Deserted Beach. <laughs> Amplified is very mountainy and lots of sky islands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, yeah, like the whatchamacallit's turned way up. Like the, the RNG for it is turned like way up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's real rocky and crazy looking. Yeah, the, the it's real, real raggedy. Yeah, I know what you mean now. Amplified world. Soul Eater, okay. I'm gonna hit the Soul Eater there. Um, let's do that. Uh, let's swing it with everybody we got. Hit, hit, hit. All right. Shisha, Shisha Mo. I need a three drop. Where are my three drops? Maestro's Diabolus. That's a good one. Uh, my three drops are void, no, our meat hook. I could do a three drop meat hook. I could do a another obscure ascendancy, or I could do a patrician geist. So 12% chance of a three drop to hit this. Obscure ascendancy would be real nice because I could hit a three drop and then a one drop. So obscure ascendancy would be a real nice hit, actually. Um, I'd actually really like that if I hit an obscure ascendancy. And it's Cave the Frost Dragon. I mean, decent, but not great. So we're going to do that. Pop, pop, pop. There we go. Um, I actually wouldn't mind a meat hook. So let's see. It's 4%. 8%, so that's 12 and change. And 16 and change. Okay, okay. 16 and change. Not bad. Ooh, Obnixilis. The schemer. Who's he gonna hit? Is he gonna hit that? I sure the fallen. Very nice. Um, I'm gonna let it all through. Pop, pop, pop. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oof. Oof. Clarion spirit. Hmm. Don't need that. We do need to kill these ob boys, though. Once all the ob's gone, maybe he's going to sack for more ob's. I don't know. But we really got to have... Yeah, he's going to sack for more ob's. We really, really, really got to get some... Uh, some other cards out here, man. We got to get our three drafts. We need our meat hook. Um, again, four. Patrician Geist, eight. Or another Skewer Ascendancy. So, 25 on each one, man. Why is he going to keep hitting us? That's his last ob, though. I mean, he might draw more, but... Um, it's going to be a tough one.
It's going to create a devil. Do that. That's a freaking one of those. My God. Okay. Um, another freaking clarion spirit. Hey, what's up, buggy man? All right, we're going to do that. And we're going to do that. Man, I need something else besides these, these spirits, bro. I am just hitting the same cards. Uh, even a mana at this point would be preferable. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so... We will put that down. Um, does he have any... Oh, let's just run him in. <coughs> we have our Cave of the Frost Dragon. Bugga man, 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 So we can hit something here. Here we go. We can do something. We can be heroes right now, man. All right. Resolve. All right, we're going to have to pit it for one. Now, that's a three-drop enchantment. Obscure is going to hit and Hollowed Haunting is going to hit. Just like that. Hit that. Boom, look at that. Shishamo, I think Shishamo is Shisham out of luck here. There's Obs. Um, he can do. Oh, there's Kalane. Treasure token. <laughs> He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. And he's out of there. Ooh, down to the wire there. Obscura Obscendancy and Hollowed Haunting and Meat Hook Massacre. The triple threat. Take it out. Very nice. Okay. Not bad. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm much happier with the way that it was playing earlier to the way it is now. I'm much happier with the way it's drawing now, man. Much, much soother, smoother. Uh, it's got a rich, bold flavor that finishes smooth. Um. So, yeah, much happier about this Obscura. Uh, we're going to leave it there, folks. I, I'm pretty happy. I mean, as far as Jank goes, it can hold its own in Mythic. I mean, we're, we're a one-up, one-down in Mythic, basically. Um, so it, it, can, it can hold steady in Mythic. It can hold the line in Mythic. Is it going to get you to Mythic numbers if you're already Mythic? Eh, probably not, because um, it's not a control deck, and that's all that you should run if you want to get to numbers. But, uh, man, if you're in Gold, if you're in Plat, hell, if you're in Diamond, it'll, it'll get you there, man. It'll do a little damage, so um, it's fun, too. It's a combo that a lot of people aren't expecting, um, and I'm having a blast with it. I'm actually really enjoyed building this, playing this, and kind of trying to figure out uh, how to get that Obscure Ascendancy to work, because I think a lot of people tried and have not really been too happy with it. So um, this is the best that I've seen so far, so I'm happy with Obscure Ascendancy here. Um, all right, guys, we're going to leave it there. The word of the day is going to be Ascendant, IBJ Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye, baby.